Hi, I'm Kaylin Lepre with Mammoth Lakes Tourism, and today we're with Brian Wilson, who's an instructor up here at the Mammoth Mountain Bike Park, and he's going to give us some beginner tips on mountain biking. So thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this segment is brought to you in part by the new National Forest that wants to remind you to leave no trace. So planning ahead and preparing is a great way to do that. Just by watching this video, it's going to allow you to have a great time while minimizing your impact on the land. But Brian, we're up here at beautiful Mammoth Mountain. Yes. And I think when people think about mountain biking, they're thinking kamikaze games or something really intense, and that's just not the case. How do we dispel some of the fears of our viewers? And you know, you were talking about technology earlier. Can you elaborate? Yeah, um, the bikes have gotten better. They're, the suspension is better. The brakes are better. Uh, they handle the dirt better. Um, they're, it's just, all together better. better. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. And you're seeing more people from, you know, little kids to grandmas yes. up here and you guys have incredible terrain. Yeah. Um, the terrain is great. It's, there's terrain for everybody. Yeah. Uh, from your beginner to your intermediate all the way up to your expert pro. Yeah. Um, but if you are a beginner, mm -hmm. um, I recommend just starting on the pioneer loop. What yeah. is, can you tell me a little bit more? What is the pioneer loop and, you know, what what other trails for beginners yeah so the pioneer loop is a loop that's at a at the adventure center mm -hmm. um and it's just it's a loop for you to get used to your mountain bike you can get to uh, learn to the your brakes your um uh your shifting and you just pedal around um, and once you start feeling comfortable with your bike then you could head to chair 11 the discovery chair and then from there you could go up and come down discovery trail <laughs> yeah. um and that's a beginner mm -hmm. that's all beginner um, super fun. Yeah. Yeah. And everything's marked really well by little green squares and blue squares yes. for beginner and just barely intermediate. So that's really helpful is having that labeled. And you know, there's rocks where you can try out riding on rocks. So it's really not that intimidating once you're here. <laughs> but comes to my next question. Rookie mistakes. We've all made them. How can we help some of our viewers not learn the hard way like we did? Yeah. Taking a lesson is always good. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, really learn your brakes. That's the biggest thing. You want to know how to stop. Yeah. Um, I always recommend, you know, 60% with your right hand using your brake, brakes on that. On okay. your left hand, 40%. Um, your right hand controls your rear brake and your left hand controls your front brake. So really get to know your brakes. Right, and so that's to keep it level. So back brakes so you're not skidding, but not too much on the front brakes so you're not over yeah. the handlebars. Yes, <laughs> so you don't want that. yeah, so it's good to like practice on some, you know, more mellow trails first. And yes. you were telling me earlier, which I thought was a great tip, is keeping my pedals level. Or you said, is it called neutral stance? We call it the neutral pedal position. Okay. And that's where your pedals are parallel to the ground. Because mm -hmm. um, if you drop a pedal, um, you you could hit a rock or a root, right. um, so you don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. <laughs> well, those are really helpful tips. Thanks for sharing those with us. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. We hope to see you up here on these trails as well, learning how to bike, and also get him to teach you. Brian's the man. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. This has been your reminder that the mountains are calling.